WTV Rosin Lester. I'm Hector Galliano. Due to weather temperatures dropping, your tire pressure could as well. Coming up next, we'll talk with the experts. I'm Aiden Lane. I'm PTV's Chetty Hart. I'm Eo Gifford. Welcome back to PTV of PHS. Today is Thursday, January 21st, 2021. I'm PTV's Tyler Ritchie. Topping our show this week, we hone in for a closer look at COVID-19 positive case count numbers in Marshall County. As of today, the Indiana Department of Health is reporting 4,953 positive COVID cases in Marshall County. Case counts are updated daily at coronavirusin.gov. On Wednesday, the Indiana Department of Health color map coding map is updated. The colors are used to provide the following guidelines to inform local decision making. When counties are in the red status for at least 14 days, the state health commissioner may impose restrictions and decisions about businesses, community, and social activities. With COVID vaccinations on the rise, many teens are wondering when is it their turn for the COVID shot. We sent PTV's Diego Gifford out on the assignment to look into that for us. What he found out is two vaccinations are FDA approved on the market right now. One by drug maker Pfizer and the other by Moderna. Both have been or are being tested currently on children. The Pfizer vaccination is approved for people 16 years of age and up. However, according to Shelly Largan, a PHS school nurse, getting the vaccine might take quite some time. Currently, however, it is not available for teenage use due to restrictions on who can get the vaccine. Um, they are gonna start with the um, people that are most susceptible to the virus, people in their 90s and then 80s, people that are healthcare workers, and then they're gonna go down through the population. Um, adults would get it before the kids would because kids usually aren't as uh, severely affected by COVID. Teachers are also wondering when the state is going to grant them the green light for the vaccination as well. Thus far, the state officials have not answered that question. In other news, the annual Riley Dance Marathon has a few changes this year. As most of you know, every year the Plymouth High School students hold a dance marathon raising money for the children at Riley Hospital. But due to the pandemic, students are unable to host what would be their 10th annual dance marathon this year. But they aren't letting this ruin their fundraising efforts to help the children who call Riley Hospital in any home. The PHS Student Executive Board is still raising money for the kids by selling a 10th annual dance marathon t-shirt. And you can help by simply purchasing a $15 t-shirt. The shirts will be delivered to PHS the week of February 8th, and all those who purchase are encouraged to wear the t-shirts to school on Thursday, February 12th. That is a day the grand total and donations raised will be shared with the public. To fill out the t-shirt order form, simply check your email. Congratulations are in order for two artistic Plymouth High School students. Both students are in Faith Hansen's art class, and, and soon both students' work of art will be on ex exhibit to see, or at least those here in Michiana. The students were both picked for the 2021 Regional Scholastic Art and Writing Awards. Junior Carly Estrada and Senior Rachel Shouten both won a Silver Key Award. Estrada submitted a piece she calls Aquarium, and Shouten's piece is titled Three Personas. Both students are in Hanson's first hour advanced drawing class. This year's awards show will be virtual due to the pandemic. The exhibition opens in the Warner Gallery at, at the South Bend Museum of Art on February 5th and will be on display through Saturday, March 13th. The Indiana Sheriff's Association is awarding college scholarships to qualified high school seniors who are pursuing a degree in criminal justice. If you are interested in applying, simply pick up a scholarship application by stopping by at the Marshall County Sheriff's Department. Approximately $4,750 scholarships are awarded to qualifying students throughout the state. If it is more convenient to apply online, simply visit indianasheriffs.org. Applications must be completed and received by the Indiana Sheriff's Association before April 1st. Switching gears to our PTV Sports Rundown. T Tonight at 5.30 p.m., the boys and girls swimming team take on Culver Academies at home. At 6.30 p.m., the freshman boys basketball team is going head-to-head -head against Wild West Sea here at home as well. Moving on to tomorrow at 6.15 p.m., the Pilgrim boys basketball team are taking on Wild West Sea on the road. Moving on to Saturday at 9 a.m., the JV boys basketball team are at Tibby Valley for a tournament. 11 a.m., the gymnastics team is competing at home against East Noble and Warsaw. And in the evening at 6.15 p.m., the girls' basketball team battles what we'll see here at home. Many of the top wind, percussion, and guard members of the PHS band program are approaching the 2021 winter wind season with a unique twist. This year's show is based off of an evil-themed literature named Dante's Inferno. The story dates back to the 14th century and discusses punishment suffered in the afterlife. The Winds team spends a multitude of hours per week solely on sharpening their craft, preparing for competitions that range 
throughout February and March. The state championships are scheduled for March 20th, so be sure to stay tuned for on the season. Just a quick reminder, tomorrow is an e-learning day for all PCSE students. Whether you have a required Zoom meeting or just a posted assignment will be determined on a class-by-class -class basis. Well, that's a wrap of PTV at PHS this week. I'm PTV's Tyler Ritchie. Have a great day at PHS and make sure to mask up. To fill out the t-shirt order form, students, simply check your email. Emer?